right, um, we're going to hop in right into this uh, tutorial. I said I would make one today, so let's see if we can do it and um, make it to where it actually works. I mean, that's the key, right? Noobs showing noobs. At least that's what I call it. So I'm going to open up um, this project here. And the first thing we're going to do, just like the developer has uh, mentioned in his videos, is just adding the three steps to get it functional. It's pretty simple. So you're going to do the component, the construction script, and the keybind. All three of those should at least get Jess attached to the horse and moving it around. So let's go ahead and start with um, opening up both the BP third person character and Jess. All right, so I'll keep uh, the third person at the bottom here. Let's open up Jess, blueprints, characters, base, and this guy. All right, cool. The first thing I'm going to do is go, um, I don't care about that. I'm going to grab this component, copy it, highlight my capsule, and paste. Scroll down, and it's there. If I look at the animations, they're all there. <clears throat> at least basic ones, anyway. Um, so let's go back here. Second thing, construction script. Copy. And paste it right after this apparent. Draw that up. Plug it in. Compile and save. For the most part, we'll compile and save all the way through, except for one area I do believe you don't want to. So let's continue on. All right. Um, the second part of this is to, let's see. What else do we need? We need that keybind from the event graph. Let's copy that. Go to Jess's event graph, and heck, it doesn't matter. Paste it anyway. Right there. F key will work perfectly fine. Compile, save, and let's just test it for kicks. Oops. Sure, let's save it all. We'll open this up. Test the normal character first. Yep, yep, neat. Um, go to world settings, drop down, select the game mode, put Jess in here. BP character player is Jess. Save current, play, and here's Jess. Jess attaches, he rides, and he gets off. Cool, okay. Now, second part we're going to do is retarget the mount animation so Jess can use it. Um, in the original video for the developer, uh, he says it's kind of the longest process and kind of is if you don't, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, kind of is the longest process. So let's get into it. I've made my windows just a little bit smaller so you can see the tabs. Um, I've <laughs> seen many videos on YouTube where the tab is like way up here and you can't, you know, how YouTube players, the player is. You can't see somebody's tabs, it's kind of annoying. So anyway, let's go ahead and select um, Jess's mesh right here. That's the little necklace, double click. Uh, open up skeleton. Let's go to this guy, double click, open up his skeleton. Select the humanoid, auto map, same with Jess. Let's move that out of the way. Um, humanoid, auto map. So on the retarget manager for both of them, we want humanoid, we want to auto map, and we want to save initially. Let's see. Secondly, um, you're going to want to match. 
you're going to want to match the bones up in the skeleton tree. So first thing I can do is leave Jess open here. I'm going to go to show retargeting options. I'm going to right click root and go to set retargeting skeleton. Make this animation. Make the second one animation. Save it. That should already match our mannequin here. The mannequin should already be set up that way. So if we go to options, show retargeting options, he in fact has animation and animation already set. Great. So let's move on. Um, under retargeting for Jess, you're going to want to pay attention to this the most, and that's setting the target to the source. Uh, you're going to use this show advanced and show base. So root, and you just have to go through here one at a time, and you'll start to see them. And just set it to the source. It should be spine one, two, and so on. advance and kind of run through the same thing again. Okay, that one looks okay. And you will know um, if it's not okay. So when we retarget that mount animation, you'll know it. Uh, Jess will have, he'll grow a third arm if it's not okay. So I'm going to save this. Save this. Next thing we want to do is get our writing system guy into a T-pose. Uh, it's pretty easy. Go to your browser where he is. Um, and let's just hit browse. Actually, you'd want to hit browse on a skeleton so you grab the correct skeleton. I believe it's this one down here, but let's do it anyway. Um, select a skeleton, hit the browse, and yes, it is in fact a skeleton. Um, so let's go ahead and set it up for retargeting. Right click in here. You're going to do import. You're going to import this UE4T pose. You can get it from the developer's uh, video. He has a link to it. I already have it. I'm going to open it. You can make sure it's the proper skeleton. Yeah, 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 it looks just like that one. Import. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to create a uh, pose asset. Hit accept. And then on modify down here, <coughs> just select that one. Hit import. And he's now in his T pose. I'm going to save it. So he matches that. Great. Moving on. We will now find, let's see, select the writer's component. Here's that mount animation. Let's click in here. Let's click this browse to. Let's right, right click it, retarget, select Jess. They're both T-pose now, hit retarget. So look at this. This is exactly what I was talking about. He grew, well, he didn't grow a third arm. He, his foot is in the back of his head. So that didn't work out too well. Go back to Jess and just kind of go over this a little bit slower. It's almost like I missed 
a clavicle somewhere. This is wrong. Where'd you go, thumb? Right, it's kind of advanced. Right, the pelvis. Angle L. Yeah, right there it is. Clavicle R. That's what made his uh, foot go into the back of his head. Okay, I'm going to save this. Do it again. Save. Just don't need that. Let's look at him. Yeah, he looks cracked this time. Cool. So moving on, we are going to set up uh, the blueprint code on to just now. So let's open up. I don't think I need these open. I'm going to save them all. Actually, we want, so we want to open up the Anim VP, so I'm going to click this here. And for Jess, I'm going to click up here. Cool, that looks right. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate these two. These two can move down. I'm going to highlight all of this. Paste it on the Jess uh, event graph right above these two. And I will pause this and create all these variables because you've got to right click and create every one of these variables. So I will be back shortly. All right, so that was a lot of creating variables. Uh, now let's go ahead and compile, save it. Let's move over to this one. The set here, you want everything after it. I'm going to go ahead and plug this set into the branch. Plug this into target. Plug this into object. Compile, save. I'm going to grab these down here, minus this guy. I'm going to grab that. Bring it down here and paste it. Create the variable. 
create another variable, compile it, save. Next thing we want to do is go to the atom graph. In the default state machine for your writing character, copy this. Under full body blends, uh, Jess has a main state machine. Open that. Paste it. This first one here, idle to moving, double click it. Scroll all the way down. Bring in mounted. Connect. Double click this one. Bring in mounted. Drag it off and hit a knot. Connect. Compile. Save. All of these should be taken care of by the previous um, by the previous code that we put in the invent graph, all of this here. Next, let's go ahead and open up Jess's character player. Scroll down to writing component. The white ones are still here, they should all still be there. If you just go back under content, you will find the animation that we retargeted. Highlight it and then just click all these white arrows. Pilot, save. So that should be enough, it looks like, according to my notes, to get Jess mounted up. So let's go ahead and test it real quick. He's mounted up, but his rotation's off, so that's an easy fix. Under Jess, uh, Click in here and look for rotation. Update character rotation. Move that back a bit. Drag in your writer's component. Drag off to get mounted. And from this get mounted, we want to just get a branch. This branch here, plug that into that, plug the faults into this, compile, save, and I do believe we are finished. So let's check it out. Successful. Yes, there you go. Cool. So um, that was successful. And hope you uh, can get yours going by this short video. It's probably longer than the developers because he, he actually knows what he's doing. I don't. But uh, anyway, hopefully this will help. See you later.